and welcome. Um, this time one, sober. <laughs> uploaded a video earlier, me being slightly, or pretty well intoxicated. Um, now I'm playing this game. Like the... eh. Oh, and if I had the controller, that'd be, that'd be good too. I mean, if you want to be first player, though. Please create a name for yourself. Press the beaten. What should my name be? Enter our master's name? What's a good master's name? Masta? Yeah. Or M A S S A, like Masta. You want us to kill that Minotaur, Minotaur Masta? Massa like that? Yeah. Okay. BS. Are you awake, Sir Massa? I don't get it, <laughs> but I like it. So, premise behind the story, there's an evil uh, Tarzana. Evil demon. Tarzana. Who sealed all my, all my power. Blah blah blah, there's monsters on the world. Gotta kill the monsters, restore the people's faith. Um, as you can see... There is the whole continent. You played through this, haven't you? I sure have. <laughs> um, I I don't think I ever actually beat it. I think I got to the last boss. And I think I beat it for you. And you're like, oh, that's such a good ending. That sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, again, in general, you're typically better at games, but there are some that I'm better true, at. True, true. This right. was the f one of the first games I remember from my childhood playing. Um, I guess my dad got it? I don't know, but... Okay. In these levels, like, I've memorized them to the point where I know where everything is. Including... Be the monkey that's gonna jump down right there. I always loved those trees right there, and like they're only because they remind me of Freddy Krueger. It makes me think yeah, of like maybe. Nightmare on Elm Street, but like he's in a tree. Oh, bees again! You know how many games have bees that annoy <laughs> anybody playing? I think, uh, what was that other what? caveman game? Um, Rick and Morty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at, look, look, look at the monkey's face. I always <laughs> thought he was wearing a ripped up bandana. <laughs> but no, that's just his face. Ooh. That was weird. For those folks who recognize that screen, yes, we're playing on the Retron 5. I think most of these creatures are fairly in it. Like that bird. What is that bird doing? <laughs> Nothing. You're a murderer. Well, the powers of Tarzan, and check out the secret, um, are influencing everything, so... I, I don't know. Well, okay, the, I mean, the evil trees I see, they, the magical bees surrounded with blue light, okay. Um, but that one was just a, a plain bird. You just, yeah, you cut I a bird down. <sighs> Actually, we have this theory, um... <laughs> Get some free hits in, nice. Yeah. In most of the older games, um, Yoshi's Island was like the first one that came to mind, but we think that you might actually be playing as the bad guy. Because if you think about it, in almost every game, you go on a massive killing spree across whatever you know country or planet or whatever setting they're in. And in some of them, it's established like, oh yeah, these are evil aliens, you have to kill them. But in some of them, it's just like, Hey, get to the end of the stage, and you murder every single living being on the scene. Yeah, but... I'll give you that. It, I mean, it, obviously, like I said, it depends on the game, but there's a lot of them. You think about, like, in Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo, a lot of the enemies were, what, dancing around, or chanting, okay, or... Okay, yeah, that's true. So you just walk up in their party, and start turning them into eggs and murdering them. No, Yoshi did that. Well, I mean, you're playing, me. you're playing as Yoshi. So, this game... I love the sounds in this game. I think the sequel to this game is Soul Blazer, because it has the same sound effects, same premise basically. Um, so two beings got zapped down from the sky, I guess. Um, 
protect the people from the monsters, blah blah blah. Most of this game is like a half platformer, half platformer, half landscaping simulating game. Sir Massa. Oh, Master, we're having difficult time building homes because of many bushes. <laughs> Please burn down the bushes and guide us as we begin building. Seems pretty lazy. Yeah, I would build a home, but there's a bush on this land, so... I mean, I won't do it until God fixes my problem. <laughs> it's a pretty extreme way to get rid of it. That's so uh, I actually love this part of the game more than the side-scrolling. Like, when I was playing the two different sections, I always had more fun doing this. I remember playing through, there are certain times it gets, like, hard to guard all your stuff. From the bats and this, this asshole right here. Dragons, there's like a, isn't there like a demon? Uh, not in the first, first one. Or, not in Fillmore. Fillmore? Ah, <sighs> time to speak, I forgot about that. Fill more space. Fill more. <laughs> fill more holes for population. Fill more theater. You know, I'm gonna change the message speed because this is driving me crazy. Fill more Detroit. Fill more. They did make. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, they did make a sequel to this game. It was. Act Razor 2. Der. Um. God, it was the hardest game you could ever imagine. I, um, I think I watched you play it once. It was all platformer, and just the controls were just janky, like... The yeah, and that's why, that's why I didn't like it or want to play it, because this was, again, this is the part of the game I liked, and they took this out. But there's people who did, like, perfect speedruns of it. I don't understand it. Nope, there are they... Ten-year-olds from China. I think some of them were tool assisted speedruns, but I was impressed regardless. <laughs> Raise the roof. So massa, I know it's unexpected, but our people at Fumor have something to tell you. Master, we finally mastered the skill of hunt. Why did I go for a Christopher walk in there? <laughs> uh, we can hunt Master monsters. Skill. We can hunt monsters. Oh, look at them go! Yeah, yeah. Kill the monsters. See? That's like all the teach. towns and inhabitants right there. We can teach humans to destroy caves. So it's something they found a statue. A uh, statue. A statue. Um, that's to help this angel out. Speed run. Um, it's just a bomb. Master, uh, we found this really weird statue. It's a bomb. <laughs> you gotta take an offering. And it's a bomb. It's weird that they have a little picture of an angel for that, too. See? There he goes. Innocent baby bomb. Oh no. Fucking. Where are you going? He's the worst, too. And you know you messed up when you start hearing his, uh... That noise, that lightning noise. Yeah. Because then it's already too late. You know what's unexpected? Yeah, uh, fire. Uh, nope. Many of my thoughts actually came to life in the real world. That's cool, are you Neo? Metal Gear launches nukes. <laughs> Wait, you mean you knew? If these powers are real, I feel the presence of something holy radiating in the woods east of here. Okay, that's cool. Whoa! <laughs> these bats are named Napper Bats. They will take a nap and kidnap your people. Nappy Bats? Like they have weaves? Yes. And you wonder why I never take you. Oh no, it's a Nappy Bat. Foolish humans. My man's doing a fire bargain. Do I have enough for the ring? No, they have to wait. Burn. 
Well, Timmy, if you were more responsible with matches. Yeah, um. I mean, I understand you taking care of giant dragons and bats and demons, but I feel like they could have people to put out fires or to, you know, cut bushes down or, uh, you know, just human stuff. People are so silly. They always think their way is right. They cause the fire and then beg you to help them extinguish it. That's the one trait I so much adore. What do you think? Who's talking to you? I think it's the angel. And no, it's an annoying trait. <laughs> I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I wish I could fly around naked and shoot animals. Alright, and next time, the town won't be under control.